The NX300 is Samsung's new flagship compact system camera, replacing last year's NX210 model. The metal-bodied NX300 features a new 20.3-megapixel APS Seekmos sensor, new hybrid autofocus, a system with both phase and contrast detection, expanded ISO range of 100 to 25,600, 1080 PHD movie recording, built-in Wi-Fi connectivity, tilting 3.3-inch AMOLED touchscreen, 8.6 FPS continuous shooting, 1 6,000th shutter speed, 3D panoramas and Samsung's unique iFunction lens. The iFunction button on compatible lenses allows users to control the Ednex 300 by scrolling through five manual settings and using the focus ring to change the parameters for each setting. The NX300 also has a special iSeam lens priority mode, which allows users to adjust the depth of field and use the IntelliZoom function. The Samsung NX300 looks very similar to its predecessor at first glance, but boasts a number of significant improvements and new features. The NX300 retains the same angular and sharp-edged design which appeals more to the serious photography enthusiast than upgraders from a simpler compact camera. It again uses an APS-C sized sensor, which is around 1.5x physically larger than the Micro Four Thirds system and promises to rival the image quality of the majority of DSLRs, whilst still maintaining a small camera body that is very similar to the likes of the comparable Sony NEX series. The NX300's sensor offers the same 20.3 megapixel count as the previous NX210, but now includes on sensor phase detection of sensors which promise to make the auto focusing system even quicker and more reliable. The Samsung NX300 has a mostly metal body with a metal lens mount, which goes some way to explaining why it's priced at a more mid level point. First impressions of the NX300 are positive, with similarly good build quality that we've come to expect from recent Samsung compact system cameras, although most of the buttons are plastic rather than metal. The NX300 has a functional look with a two-tone black and silver colorway on our review sample, sharp edges and a tactile curved faux leather hand grip on the front that has a textured area where your fingers rest and a smaller area on the rear panel for your thumbs.